Hello dear viewers, welcome to the making of the Circle of Cubes project where we looked at uh, how we can uh, play with rotation uh, in the hope we will be able to better understand how that works. If you want to see some insights on that, check out the Geometry Nodes tutorial that you see in the top right corner, uh, the link to it you see in the top right corner or in the description. In this video we will focus on the materials of this project and that's also uh, fun to watch. So uh, this is a very simple project. We just have this um, uh, default camera. We basically have no lights. And uh, what we have here, it's um, just a grid that you see here. Uh, was done in the geometry nodes. I didn't get into the detail of it, but you can, if you want to build a grid, uh, you can uh, find it in the project file that it's available on Gumroad. The material for that uh, grid uh, is just um, texture coordinate using the camera mapping, so it will follow the camera. And uh, what I did is to breaking it up a little bit, I use a wave texture with the color ramp on this emission shader that you, uh, you see here. So we have a black and white uh, emission shader. This is the wave texture. It's kind of tough to see it in the, this geometry, but it's basically responsible for uh, breaking up this uh, grid. Otherwise, it's gonna look like something like this. But this uh, way, it has some more details. For the cubes, we have this uh, emission shader with these values. And uh, some interesting stuff is going on in the world shader, uh, meaning this what you can see in the background here, this uh, texture here. And the way I did that was taking the frame and uh, divide it by some value to control the seed of this mass texture that is looking like this, as you can see from uh, these settings. And I use the generated uh, coordinates, and this is controlling the animation by playing with the seed. In order to give it some color, I did two stop on this color ramp with the values that you see here. These are the values. Switch to hue saturation value and the mode to near. And this gives us this uh, nice gradient that you uh, see here uh, that is mapped to this mass grave texture. I also wanted to give everything a slightly bluish uh, hue tint, not so slightly, actually it's very obvious. And I did this by uh, uh, taking this color uh, here, mixing it with the output here. And this factor controls just how much influence this blue color has on everything. This is of course fed to the color of this uh, background with this point free strength to make things darker and make um, the cubes pop out and the grid pop out. So this is it for this project. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to check the geometry nodes video. It's really interesting. Uh, how you can play with rotation and in the hope you will use this information to make cool stuff in blender i say to you happy blending and have a nice day